fellow weaver, this is Willow Goose, and today I'm here to talk about treadling the threading. Now, what exactly does that mean? It's an easier way of threading your loom and increasing the accuracy of the threading. So if we take this draft, for example, when we want to thread shaft number one, we're going to hit the number one treadle. When we want to thread shaft number two, we're going to hit the number two treadle. Shaft number three, we're going to hit the number three treadle, so on and so forth. Traditionally, this technique is done by people with a table loom or a Dobby loom, and we'll show you why, but technically it could be done with a regular treadle loom. How do we set up a file to do this? First off, we're going to delete the treadling. And the easiest way to delete the treadling is to do edit, clear, okay, treadling. Boom, that's gone. How easy was that? Next, we're going to get rid of the tie up over here. Edit, clear, tie up. Boom, that's gone too. Okay, now, just for sake of completeness, we're going to show you that you could do edit clear all if you really just want it to start over. And you could theoretically delete the threading, though that's not what we want to do today. Now that we have this set up, what do we do next? We're going to use the line tool and we're going to create a new tie up. So this way, we're going to say that whenever you hit the number one treadle, it's going to raise shaft number one. Number two treadle goes to shaft number two, so on and so forth. Now, how do we get this order into the treadling. Well, that's very easy. We're going to do tromp as writ, which basically means we're going to do the treadling in the same order that the threading was done. So if, you know, the threading was, you know, shaft number one, we're going to hit treadle number one, shaft number two, treadle number two, so on and so forth. Okay, and how convenient the default is threading to treadling, which is exactly what we want. Now, look at these other options just in case they become interesting to you later, because I'm sure they will be interesting. This looks darn ugly, and most of them do look quite ugly. Don't worry about this. You're not weaving this. You're only using this as the order in which to do your threading. You may be able to see now why people may choose not to use this threading technique on a regular treadle loom. Because on a treadle loom, you'd have to tie up all of these treadles in this way in order to thread. And then you'd have to change the tie up in order to do your actual weaving. However, with a computer Dobby loom, you can just change the file to change the tie up and the treadling. And with a table loom, you were doing it as lift plan anyway. So all of your levers are already tied up in this manner. For table looms, for computer Dobby looms, this really makes a whole lot of sense. Not sure if there's a technique for a manual Dobby loom that might be similar, and maybe somebody can comment below and let us know that. But this is a really good trick to help improve the accuracy of your threading. We do think it takes a little bit more time, particularly if you hit treadle number one and then you thread number one. Hit treadle number two, thread shaft number two and so forth. So what we normally do is we will do treadle number one, pull the heddle over, just identify it. Treadle number two and leave them in order. Continuing on to three and four. Now you've got four heddles all in order and four is generally a good number to manage. You can thread all four and then go to the next set of four. 
which in this case is one, two, three, four. Thread, 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 thread. Then you're going to repeat the same deal with five, six, seven, eight. They're all in order. Thread, 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 thread. If it's not a straight line, you know, it's like one, two, one, four, or something like that, there is a higher likelihood that things may shift out of order a little bit, and that may cause you some trouble. And you'll know if it's that kind of threading, and maybe you do need to stop after two and, and thread them. But I find that if you can identify your heddles and then thread later, whether that be two, four, six, whatever, um, that will save you some time as opposed to doing one, threading, the next one, and threading, and so forth. So give it a try. See what you think. Hope you have a happy weaving day. Bye.